ladies and gentlemen, space explorers. My name, of course, is a little bit of potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Deep Space Outpost, which is a base building game uh, set in space where you control a space station that is being pelted by a whole bunch of terrible rogue asteroids. Anyway, as ever, I will do my very best to explain what the heck is going on. Uh, let's jump into the game. I'm feeling optimistic. Let's play on hard. Uh, I played through the game and uh, the tutorial. I like it. Um, this is what we've got going on. This is our sort of base this is our base station, and I'll explain, as I usually tend to, uh, you know, exactly what the situation is with everything. We've got some worker droids here, which I guess are the sort of brunt, uh, and the, the, the workers of our, of our operation, which is pretty cool. These guys are really, really useful. We've got the station computer, which is where these droids can uh, charge up for the time being, but there will be other buildings for that uh, later on that are better suited for it. Uh, we can also start trading from the station computer, but we'll get to that later. Uh, we've got metal storage over here. We've got 500 out of 500 metal stored. Uh, day one, minute, or day one, hour zero, minute nine, We've got no power, we've got zero ore, 500 metal, zero fuel, and zero air. And also, life support. Now, life support doesn't actually work in uh, the way that you might expect in this game. It actually just raises station-wide efficiency, because there are no, as of yet, people uh, in this game. Now, um, what is our main mission? Well, our main mission is to try and protect this station and grow it, and we need to defend against all of these countless, countless asteroids. So that's what we're going to try and do. Um, over the course of this little episode here. Uh, this is still, you know, an early access project. However, uh, from what I what I see so far, I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's very, very cool indeed. So, uh, we'll get some power. The power system is very, very self-explanatory. We've got a solar connect, and we've got some solar panels, we've got some batteries, and we've got a fuel cell. We should be all up and running pretty soon. Uh, we've got some floors, some walls, some doors, and some airlocks. Airlocks are for trading. Uh, we'll need to make sure that we nab ourselves an airlock, not necessarily soon, but we'll need to nab ourselves uh, an airlock at some point. Uh, for now, what I want to do is I'd like to get myself probably, probably a room that's maybe about that big. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want to make a station that's too big that we can't defend, but we also want to give ourselves enough sort of leeway uh, to do what we need to do. Now, uh, what we're going to try and do, I've explained the sort of structure tab, that's fine. I've explained the power tab. Uh, the battery does exactly what you'd expect a battery to do. We'll get one of those uh, again kind of soon. Uh, fuel cell, um, it allows us to burn fuel and it generates a whole bunch of power as opposed to the solar panels. I don't really think that it's super critical that we get um, the fuel thing. Um, the fuel cell thing, because the solar panels give us plenty of plenty of power anyway. Uh, the production tab is where the magic is really, really made. We've got a mining unit, a mining laser, a tractor beam, a refinery, life support, android maintenance, all of which we will be using over the course of this playthrough here. And then we've also got storage. We've got a salvage, a salvage depot, we got ore storage, metal storage, fuel storage, air storage, and water storage. And then finally we've got the defense tab. Now, this has got a laser turret and also a shield turret, both of which we will be making use of to defend our to defend our station from asteroids. And you can actually see them. Hold on. You see the asteroids sort of floating around nefariously. None of them have really come my way yet, but they will. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Right, let's go into two times speed. Let's get everything that we need to... Let's get everything we need to get, and then let's start chatting about... Uh, probably our first production building, and that is going to be the mining unit. Now, the mining unit allows us to build little, uh, little drones between uh, to go and harvest resources from all of these asteroids. Pretty cool. It's pretty useful, and in fact, dare I say, imperative. We need to make sure that these worker droids don't run out of batteries. I don't think that they will, as long as we've got power. Uh, we've got plenty of power, to be honest. I mean, plus fifteen. Plus 15 power from the solar panels. The droids charging, you know, barely really, barely really touching, touching that at all. Um, but we are undefended at this present moment. We are going to need to get ourselves a defensive structure uh, pretty darn fast. If I do indeed say so myself. We're not able to build this mining unit thing yet because we're, we're not quite in an enclosed structure. But we will be soon. We will be soon. I just hope we're able to get things enclosed before we are attacked by by asteroids right i also built a door there we can leave the door open if we need to but that'll become apparent when we get uh, uh let's do let's do this here actually there we go okay we're gonna nab that we're gonna nab ourselves a refinery as well 
refinery is going to go here. Beautiful. And this, ah, when I sort out my power situation, which I will do very, very shortly. Ooh, you see the asteroids. They do be a coming. They do be a coming. And we are going to take what looks like an ever so an ever so slight and ever so small hit. Not exactly ideal, but that is what it is. It's fine. Anyway, uh, so we need to keep an eye on the walls. We need to make sure that um, that we repair them. Now these droids have got like uh, repair thresholds, uh, which is important. Very very important. Uh, refinery is not enough ore to process into metal yet, but that's okay. That's because we're waiting for the little, the little droid thing to come back. Um, what I'm saying is we just need to be careful about the, the walls. We need to be careful about the walls. The repair is currently set to automatically repair at 75%, so then a droid is going to, you know, make the dangerous journey outside and go and fix that up if, if needs be. Um, but we've not quite reached that threshold yet. Anyway, I am terrified by this. Let's get ourselves probably two probably two defensive turrets. I'm kind of just going to try and destroy some of these asteroids as they're uh, as they're going past. As I say, this is hard mode, so you know, we need to expect we need to expect some uh, some issues. That's for sure. Uh, and speaking of issues, my solar panels are actually quite difficult to defend because they're sort of out on the uh, out on the sticks over there, but that's that's okay. That's fine. Anyway, uh, what was I going to say? It looks like the refinery is working well. That is brilliant. Lovely to see. We should see our metal increase ever so slightly. It's not going to increase at a tremendous rate because it still needs to be moved across by the worker droids. They still need to haul 20 metal at a time across to here. And efficiency is at 50%. Now, efficiency is an interesting little concept in this game because there is no there's no people there's no nothing uh, if we increase efficiency then you know efficiency across the board increases the efficiency of the refinery increases the you know move speed of droids increase uh, it's really really good to to raise efficiency and it's very very important that we do do that we've got plenty of plenty of ore stored over here yeah we also need to get more worker worker droids that's pretty mission critical in fact, I actually think we should probably just try and nab ourselves like an extra room. Not enough resources. Sure, we'll nab ourselves an extra room there. And let's sort of like just let's just paper over the room. We'll just build a we'll just build a bigger room. Yeah, you you might not work because you're technically not in an enclosed space at the moment, but that's okay. If we have to wait a little bit, then that's then that's fine. We can we can quite comfortably wait. Either way, I think this is still a, a good thing to do. And we should have enough power to do everything that we need to do. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, plenty of ore. Only a little bit of metal. But that's fine. We can we can fix that. This area is probably gonna need a defensive turret at some point. I'm not gonna worry about placing it now. Or maybe I should. Right on the corner here. Yeah, I think we're going to get a defensive turret right in the corner there. I can't even at the moment because we don't have enough We don't have enough metal, but... Uh, oh my lordy, did you see the speed of that asteroid? That looks like it could do some serious damage. That looks like it could do some serious, serious damage. Yeah, so this is why we can get the, uh, the shield turret. 12 meters, external placement, power usage 4, deflects asteroids. Something like that might actually be, like, wholly required. Yeah... I don't know if damage scales with speed. I would imagine that it does. I would imagine that it does just because, you know, like physics or whatever. But hey-ho. Right. Um, I would like to get a life support machine. We will get life support up and running in a second. But for now, let's just get... Let's just get... Just get my defenses up and running, please. Like right over here. Maybe on the middle of the wall. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Can we, can we build a little bit faster, please? Do have any messages? We have unreachable build jobs. Still? No? Really? Surely? Surely you don't have unreachable build jobs. I think they all should be very reachable. Okay. So far, so good. Now, something else that I should mention. We can build new mining droids, and we can build more worker droids. We're going to try and build both. Um, we need to build droid maintenance in order to get... Oh, my God. This is going to be... Whoa. Thankfully, these haven't been built yet, so... 
I don't think that that actually counts as damage. Proper damage. Maybe that's a strategy. Maybe you just, you know, cover the area with, like, entirely unreachable build jobs. Anyway, that is the perfect placement for a laser turret. Mark my words. The perfect placement for a laser turret. Oh. Now, there's some pretty, there's some pretty unique and interesting things that we can do uh, with laser turrets in general. Or should I say tractor beams? Which is very, very cool. Uh, and we're going to do them. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We're going we're gonna to do them. But for now, let's get uh, some droid maintenance facilities. We're probably going to need to increase our power supply a little bit. Anyway, the point of getting the droid maintenance uh, area is that it's going to allow us to build new worker droids. Building new worker droids, kind of one of the most mission critical things that we can do at the moment, because it's going to give us more uh, more people to haul this ore across to the refinery, which, believe it or not, is apparently like the most important thing. What we can actually do is if we go into droid control down here, the most recent droid that we just got, I presume that's this one because it's on 90% charge. Um, let's make your, let's make hauling like your biggest, most important mission. So we're just going to have at least one droid like just constantly, constantly, constantly hauling. And in fact, we're probably going to need more than one droid constantly hauling. Yeah, in fact, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get you to constantly haul as well. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Right, so this droid maintenance facility, it charges up droids quicker, uh, and it also builds and repairs them, which is really, really nice. Uh, we're hopefully going to start to get rid of some of this ore from this bin here. And we'll also maybe build a new mining droid. But again, it doesn't particularly matter. Right. Okay, let's talk about raising our efficiency, and then we'll get onto the tractor beams and whatnot, and then we'll get onto trading as well. So, um, life support, we're going to need to get a life support um, machine, but it's not actually a requirement at the moment. What we need to do is we need to get down some storage. Um, now, we've already got the metal storage. We're going to get a fuel storage. We're going to get an oxygen storage. And we're going to get a water storage um, as soon as I possibly can, which will be very, very shortly indeed. And already you can immediately start to see that as a byproduct, as a byproduct of, of, this, uh, of this reaction here, of this of this ore breaking down in the refinery. I don't know, the refinery does the refinery does it all, apparently. Happy days. Great news. Delighted. Uh, and that's fine. Now, in order to get in order to disseminate that in order to disseminate that out, we're gonna need to nab ourselves a a life support machine. I mean, I don't think it really particularly matters where we put it. Put it there. We've got 50 metal now. Beautiful. And we also have the opportunity to use, uh, we also have the opportunity to use fuel, which is kind of nice. Uh, we can use, we can use the fuel in the, uh, in the fuel cell, which I don't really think is required, but it might be, but it might be useful. Anyway, uh, we're getting, we're getting ourselves a little bit of, we're getting ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of a life support system thingy going here that's good. Got low air at the moment. As I say, faster walk rate for the droids would be would be really, really handy indeed. Build a new worker droid. Marvelous. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Air use 0 0.1. Okay, so it's not very much. I don't know what our I don't know what our current rate of uh, air gain actually is at the moment, but I sort of wager that it's higher than that if our air is continuing to increase. And our habitat supply is yeah, it's good. You know what? We'll we'll nab ourselves a second one, shall we? Sure, why not? We got plenty of metal to go around. We got plenty of metal to go around. Right. So, now that we've got all of this stuff uh, up and running, let's see if we can try and explore trading. Now, we need to get an airlock. The airlock needs to go in here. It requires placement between two walls. Two required to form an airlock. Two required to form an airlock. Okay, we'll try and get we'll try and get a second one. Also, I am out of power. There we go. Nab that. In fact, maybe we should get a fuel cell. No, I was just talking about how I didn't need one. Dockable, not linked. Yeah, um, we will We will hopefully see some traders come and sort of randomly float up to here. Dockable, not linked. Yeah, we'll, we should see some trading ships that will, that will be able to help us out. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but I think it should... Oh, I think it should be fine. I think it should be fine. I think it should be fine. Right. Uh, life support is at 32%. That is marvelous. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty happy with that. Air is at 13%. That is good. 
going to build a brand new worker droid here. Brilliant. Excellent. And we're actually going to build a new mining droid as well. And then we'll follow it up with a brand new... A brand new worker droid there as well. Marvelous. Okay, so I think an additional refinery might actually go a long way. Fuel, we got plenty of fuel. We've got no water. Uh, we can toggle, we can toggle the, the water to... What's this? Refinery is not enough ore to process. Yeah, I know. Do we need to... Need to get you to do that? Yeah, sure. We do need to do more processing. We do need to do more processing. I think we're back up to 100% efficiency, by the way, on the... Yeah, I think we're up to 100% efficiency on the on the refinery, which is kind of nice. Which is going to be fantastic. That's going to be great. Anyway, um, let's chat about let's chat about tractor beams, shall we? So the tractor beam works in a very interesting way. Um, we build it kind of outside. Build it outside. We'll build it like over here, I would say, and then we build the mining laser. We build a mining laser right over yonder. And then we get ourselves some salvage depots. And in this case, we're going to build three. And what's going to happen is we're going to have the tractor beam, which is going to yoink asteroids down into the salvage depots. And then that is going to allow us to extract the goodness from the asteroid with the mining laser. It might happen here. It needs to be a very sort of specific circumstance for the... Uh, for the for the asteroid to be captured by the tractor beam. It doesn't always work perfectly, but it, uh, but it does, but it does work. Also, I feel like I maybe need, says it's dockable, but, uh, requires placement between two walls, two required to form an airlock. Yeah, I feel like I need to get, I feel like I need to get another one. Sure, let's try and get another one. Try and get another one. See if that works. Right. Dockable, not linked. I mean, it kind of looks airlocky. I guess it looks official, even if it's not technically official. There was no sort of tutorial bit about this, by the way. That was that's why I. Uh, that's why I am. Mining unit, no storage available. Oh yeah. We need to get we need to get ourselves some ore storage. I'm gonna do that actually. Um I, I've neglected to do it thus far. Get some ore storage over there. We've actually got plenty of metal right now, which is lovely. Life support is in a pretty great place. I kinda need more droids, don't I? I really do. Do I need to get another droid maintenance facility? I'll get another droid maintenance facility. Hopefully we're going to be able to take more of the more of the stuff out of the mining unit and into the laser. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We've managed to nab ourselves. We managed to nab ourselves a rogue asteroid. Uh, so the mining laser is able to go to town on that, which is kind of lovely. And we're able to extract all of the stored ore from within, from within that asteroid, which uh, is just perfect, actually. Build a new droid. Excellent your issue moving to hull do we need to get do we need more ore what are you doing you're charging why are you charging in the in the refinery like there's other things there's other things that we need to do i'm gonna get that refinery repaired and we're actually gonna get ourselves another one not enough resources of course of course not enough resources but yeah we will get ourselves another one pretty soon. I like the walk speed. Everybody's walk speed seems to be pretty darn high. Dockable, not linked. Still no sign of... Still no sign of any... Uh... We've got an increasing O2 level. That's cool. It would be really, really nice if a trading ship uh, decided to come and... come and chill with us. But alas, I don't think it's, ha I don't think it's happening. But we can we can dream anyway. Uh, let's get ourselves get ourselves a refinery over here. We should have enough in like ten. 
10 bits and bobs. Come on, 10 bits of metal. We've also got plenty of fuel. Let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves a... Get ourselves a thingy. What's it called? A fuel, a fuel cell thing. Yeah. Get ourselves a fuel cell. Right, droid control. That's looking pretty good. Um, are we 100% defended? I haven't got myself a shield turret yet. Not enough resources, of course. Of course, of course, of course, it's not enough resources. Not enough resources. Dockable, not linked. I'm assuming that when it says not linked, that is the linking with a, with a trade ship. I'm not specifically sure. Uh, right, fuel cell, we'll get that in like a few microseconds and then we'll also get ourselves a battery. I don't think that we'll really ever need a battery. But you never know, right? You never know. We definitely need to get more droids. And we need to assign more of them to just do like hauling hauling full time. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't understand, but you just literally do not want to you don't want to do it, do you? You just don't want to do it. Um, we're also going to make the change on this one where we're going to change this all the way up to like 50-50. Uh, so we should start generating some water. I don't know what that means for us in terms of anything, actually. But I'm assuming that that's going to allow us to maybe make some trades for water, uh, which, might be, which might be something that the traders want. Okay. Either way, thus far, we're all good. I'm going to get two deflecting, uh, two deflecting thingies over here. And that is everything, I think. Probably should get a tractor beam over at this side. Mining laser, yep. Got the battery. Yeah, the battery is starting to charge. Beautiful. The other thing that I was wondering about, can we maybe... Do something like this. Then that up there. And then we'll build another building over here. I'm just kind of curious to see to see how it works. Very, very curious. Very, very curious to see how this whole thing works. Ooh, look at this. That's a big, 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 big asteroid there. Holy cow. Oh, it hit the it hit the wall. That's pretty awkward actually. Yeah, not particularly happy with that. Did we build the fuel cell? We didn't build the fuel cell. Uh, well, okay. Now we're fine for power, I guess. We're fine for power for quite a long time. Uh, that's a shield turret. It didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Repeat, it did not do anything. I see. So it like it kind of like... It gives them a little a little wobble more than anything else. Right. If only the flipping if only the holing happened a little faster. That would be nice. Things are starting to heat up. That was our big asteroid over there that was destroyed. Now we can do all these asteroids here, I think. I believe that they're all technically within range. Um, but that is not going to be the case forever. I'm going to get a laser turret over here as soon as I possibly can. Or over here, even. Nice. We'll get that. What's the issue? Refinery is not enough ore to... Uh, to yeah, to sort. The hauling does seem to take an inordinately long time, even with 100% supply. Like that's a it's a long it's a long process. It's a long process. Right, so we can build another sort of super secret base over here. I mean there's not really much point, I don't think. Sixty-two. Sure. We'll do it. We'll give it a shot. I'm curious to see how we can get this trading system set up. Requires placement between two walls. Required to form an airlock. I mean I will I'll get a second wall. We'll try. We'll try any combination. Right. Build an airlock there. Yeah. 
There's also going to be... Oh, wow. There's actually oxygen over here? Wow. Even, th <laughs> Even though it's not connected to anywhere else? That is pretty interesting. Dockable not linked. Two required to form an airlock. Again, like, what can that mean if not this? Do we need to, like, build a wall around here? Uh, that's not it. Can't delete that? Oh, well, that's gonna be awkward, isn't it? I guess we'll just have to wait until it's been built, and then we can unbuild it. Sorry. Yeah, you have to take that apart. Actually, I shouldn't have taken that apart. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just take it all apart. Everybody's getting very confused. Yeah, no doubt about it. Right, I need to build that fuel cell thing. Build that fuel cell thing. Not like that makes a blind bit of difference, but that's okay. Okay. Right. Requires placement between two walls. I think it means like this, right? Two required to form an airlock. Yeah, we will we will give it our best. We'll give it our best shot. Mining unit has no storage available. Yeah, man, this is so it's so frustrating that we literally just can't move stuff out of here fast enough. I just need more droids, to be honest. Let's just get more droids. Double down on double down on additional additional droids. Also, our fuel use is so unbelievably low. It's like nothing. Okay, you know what? Abandon this. Abandon this airlock. We'll, we're going to get ourselves a second airlock. So, leave one to the side. Leave one to the side. It's three blocks, isn't it? Oh. There we go. Yep. We'll give this a we'll give this a crack. Okay, does it need to be floor in here? Or does it just need to be nothingness? Dockable not linked. Closed not linked. Open not linked. Get floor in there. See if that works. I have no idea. I have no idea how the trading thing works. Oh, there we go. Trade trade beam on. Is that going to work now? Well, whatever the case, we've created a monster. Oh. <gasps> it looks good. That looks like that looks like what we've been looking for. Okay, so even though it didn't work before, it looks like it might work now. Right. Trade beacon is on. We're on. We're ready to rock and roll. Um I am going to get I'm going to get some defensive defensive structures up and running. Let's do it. Let's hope that that works. Cannot get rid of this scaffolding for some obscene reason. That's fine. Not enough resources. I would love to get some some protection on this front though. It would be really good. There we go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That'll be helpful. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Hello. Brilliant. Okay, so that's what you need. You need to you need to create a space like that apparently. What do we got? I I mean not much that I really care about to be honest. I mean, I think I probably care about metal. Care about metal. I'll sell off air. Yeah, I mean, I'll sell off as much of much of this as I possibly can. I don't think we need, I don't think we need air for anything, or fuel for that matter. I mean, there's not much of a, this is not much of a deal, is it? No, I mean, yeah, I'm afraid these traders are gonna, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna come, they're gonna bring me a few resources that I don't particularly care about, and then they're gonna go, yep. 
there you go. But at least they look kind of cool. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, even on hard, it's like we've not really faced... We've not really faced any sort of, like, onslaught of asteroids. I mean, it was more challenging to get the... Does that show that you're linked? Yeah, that, so that shows that they're now linked. That's cool. Yeah, it shows that you're linked. You're green. You're green as well. So that's good to that's good to note. That's good to note. That is that is cool. So you need you do need to get a configuration like this, which is just a a challenge, a challenge to work out. Um, but yeah, as I say, I don't think there is got everything right. Got the tractor beam. I did want to see the see the tractor beam, uh, you know, being a little bit more useful. Some more batteries. I want to see the tractor beam becoming a little bit more useful. I also kind of want to see what happens in the in the event of a hull breach, but the fact of the matter is the laser turrets have, are so darn powerful. There doesn't seem to me to be any reason not to check that out or to, to just get them all the time. I mean, we can buy more metal. We can buy more metal. Uh, we sell them. Sell them more. There you go. I mean, that's just a... That's just a great deal all around. I feel like balance is not particularly strong. Uh, you know, the force is force is strong with this one. Balance isn't strong with this one. Uh, it does seem that everything is very, very powerful. Um, the laser beams especially. Although that being said, it'd take a little while. Take a little while to destroy those. I was kind of expecting a bit more of a rapid ramp up of, um, of asteroid onslaught. But, in fact, it's not really been like that at all. I mean... Not really. Not really at all. Just to... Just to cause a little bit of chaos. Why don't we try building some floor in the middle of nowhere? See how that goes down. I'm curious to see what's, uh, what's going to happen with regards to, to asteroids. Look at that. Yeah, these shield turrets, I don't I'm not sure that I rate them to be honest. I'm not sure that I rate them at all. No. I don't I don't think I do. Let's see if we can get more of these. Uh did we get another mining hub? Yeah, we did, but unfortunately this one is in use. There's a trader in. Um we'll buy oh, we've already bought the metal from you. Or you didn't have any. I don't know. How are we doing? Let's have a little look at the overlay. Have a little look at the overlay. Oxygen overlay. It's giving us good vibes. Damage overlay. Um, everything is fine, really, isn't it? I wonder. Can you actually... Can floor actually be damaged? It can be damaged. It's going to get repaired, like, pretty much immediately. But it doesn't... It doesn't show on the overlay as... As a damaged thing. Oh, look at this. Yeah, and definitely when it's under construction, it can't be damaged. Yeah, I feel like that needs to be changed. That needs to be changed. Oh, well. I think that's probably... I think that's probably about all that this game has to offer at this moment in time. Uh, that being said, it is literally... It is literally, um, you know, under development at the moment. So, I would not expect... I would not expect a fully fleshed out game. I am really optimistic. I like the... I like the idea of just, like, more and more and more and more and more asteroids being thrown at you. And things getting more and more intense. Uh, what do we need to see? I think we need a lot more buildings. I think we need we need more ferocious asteroids. I think we need a I think we need a lose condition. You know, the lose condition is that there's so many asteroids bombarding you. There's you know explosions and air leaks and all of that stuff. Not to mention, um, you know, if there was some humanoid life forms, it might be uh, it might be a little bit more. You know, the stakes might be a little bit higher if you had to defend, like, a little core of humans. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but definitely, definitely gets a recommendation purely because I am very interested in seeing how this game develops. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting indeed. Deep Space Outpost, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you ever so much for watching. Check out the Patreon if you are interested in helping make videos like this possible. Also, I just started a brand new Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Patreon exclusive series over there. A prequel series, if you'd like, to a main series on the channel. Uh, check that out if you are interested. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.